waitress consuming your life just now. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just saying, if I didn't love it so much, it would be awful. Um, it's it's such a beautiful part to play. It's a gorgeous show. And it, we do it eight times a week. So every day it's kind of like I'm retelling something that's really close to my heart and I love it. Yeah. So uh, I don't even think about that anymore, actually. No, of course, you're part of the yeah. family. And Jenna, your character, a very relatable person. Mm. We do deal with some quite heavy, hard-hitting subjects there. But it's kind of a story about her breaking free and coming out of that. So it's really uplifting and it, gosh, it makes you feel amazing. By the end of it, every single day, I just feel elevated and it's so incredible and so funny. And we have Blake Harrison, who is Neil in the Inbetweeners, currently playing Ogie. People don't expect to laugh as yeah, much as they do. As it's as really do. funny. But both of them actually are now, or Ashley's gone, Blake's about to go, mm -hmm. and Joe Suggs coming in. Yes, that we all know Joe. from Strictly yeah. from last year, of yeah. course. So yeah, he's just about to take over. So it's a great cast, there's yeah. a good mix of people in there. Mm -hmm. Suppose, isn't yeah, it? and what's great about it is it's a it's a musical that isn't um, it's kind of relatable and I uh, think pretty much all demographics of people can come and watch this and enjoy it. And I think that's reflected in the casting of the show as well. We have Joe Sirk, who's coming in, who is a YouTuber who's been on Strictly Come Dancing, and I think his fans will enjoy it as much as the diehard musical fans will enjoy it. You yeah. know, it kind of, it speaks to everyone. Of course, of course. We were just talking about like, X Factor there, I would say 10 years, Lucy, yeah. which, you know, I know. whole decade, it's Blown incredible. By. Putting yourself out there 10 years ago was a big, big step, mm -hmm. being on a big, you know, stage, all of us watching. And that's when we really properly watched X Factor. Yeah. I mean, your year had yeah. Jeb Word and uh, Ollie Murs yeah. and Stacey Solomon yeah. was in there. It was Joe McEldry won yeah. that year. Uh, I mean, it was a great time. Yeah, it was. It was kind of, I mean, I, I think the kind of peak of X Factor time, and I feel very lucky to have been a part of it when I was. Um, I'd watched the show for years. I'd auditioned for it a number of times. And that year, I was just really lucky and getting my, my chance on the live shows. Um, and I've made some incredible friends. Obviously, my husband I met on X Factor. Doing. Well, this yeah. is it. I mean, more important than any of the music, <laughs> you met your husband, Ethan, who I've got to say this guy is something else because <laughs> the proposal that he had created for you is like nothing I've ever seen or heard yeah. of before. The preparation that was involved. I'll let you explain it as opposed <laughs> to me, clearly. Well, no, he's uh, he's one of those people. He's made it very difficult for anyone else ever to propose now. Definitely. He put together this this little film over months and months, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's organisation. Yeah, and, and he's one, he's wonderful, and I'm very lucky to have him. And your wedding day was the best day of your life. And you yeah. did, everyone used to say that to you, and you'd think, oh, I don't quite get that, but yeah. it really was. Yeah, I know it is. I mean, it's, it's like being on X Factor. People go, it's the biggest thing you'll ever do, but when you're there, it really is. And on your <laughs> wedding day, you've got friends and family from all over the world that you would never usually yeah, have in one room Yeah, it's very together. rare to have them Oh, all. it was amazing. It it's was absolutely amazing. Do you still keep in touch then with, with Danny, who was your mentor? Obviously, yes, on yeah, we do. She's still very supportive of all of us. I know that she still really supports Matt, Carl, and Stacey and and she's always in touch with she's the first one to say congratulations this is incredible what nice to hear. amazing opportunity and yeah she really is genuinely a good human yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I like that yeah me too <laughs> we need more of her <laughs> definitely <laughs> Lucy fantastic and as I say a big chunky roll ahead for you now with waitress Adelphi Theatre until January 2020 yeah, thank Can you we believe for saying that <laughs> I know thank you so much thank Lucy. you